violence sparked over a social media post about Prophet Muhammad. In Bengaluru, India, major violence broke out after protests alleged that politician Akanda Srivinas Mur Murphy's house family had allegedly uploaded a derogatory post about Prophet Muhammad on his uh, Facebook account. A mob gathered outside the house of the politician and threw stones and set fire to several vehicles. It was alleged that the locals first went the, to the police station to file a complaint against the politician's nephew, but dilly-dallying on the attitude of the policeman angered the mob and they in turn attacked the police station. Meanwhile, the politician's relative claimed innocence, saying that his Facebook account was hacked and he had no knowledge about the alleged uh, derogatory post about the prophet. Wait, I'm confused. What's happened exactly? So, a family member of this politician is alleged to have made a Facebook post that is derogatory towards the prophet Muhammad. So, a mob went to the police station and the police weren't reacting fast enough so they attacked the police station and then they also went and attacked the politician's house and they threw stones through the windows and then they set fire to his vehicles because the police weren't cracking down on this guy fast enough for something his nephew did so a mob went to the police station and the police what? weren't reacting fast enough 14 year old so they attacked the police station and then they also went and attacked the politician's house wait so and they threw stones through the windows and then they wait what happened what's happening Susanna? if you just hear me speaking from yeah here, oh I yeah have no me... idea what just happened hold on hold on oh yeah i'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or something yeah 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 okay okay that was my fault sorry 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 <laughs> Yeah. I got super freaked out. Like, Armin said was something like... was his fault. <laughs> I was, you know, I that, was actually that's gonna, why I you was need to be, be like, Susanna, I was going to be like, why is Susanna is just saying the exact same thing perfectly? Ex perfectly. Like, I was angry with her, but I also, was also impressed how she could be like <laughs> word by word exactly the same thing. Wait, so w did anything happen to the 14 year old? Uh, I I don't no, think something happened to him. Wait, I think he was arrested or he was booked or something. I I, I don't exactly know because uh, like people are not speaking about it in really clear terms. Maybe because like there are very few articles which even mention that the post was about Muhammad. They're just saying uh, it hurt religious feelings or it uh, uh, created so uh, communal tensions and everything. So that's what happened and this happened in like this is not like uh, in a very leftist state or something this happened in a state ruled by the hindu nationalist government so this, this islamic mob still did this and but the guy uh, is not from uh, not an hindu nationalist he just it was not even a post i actually saw it it was a comment saying prophet muhammad is a child monster Okay, hey, let's simplify. Here's, here's how stu stupid this news is, right? So in Pakistan, th th there's three levels of stupid, right? First of all, a 14-year-old posted something that they didn't like as a kid. They this is in India. This is in India. I thought Pakistan. it was Bangladesh. It is in India. Oh. Yeah, why does that? Why do I have some... Hmm, I have the, this is, I have the wrong news of them. I'm confused. Oh, Bangladesh. Sorry, I thought I read Bangladesh. Sorry, forget it. Why do I have the wrong? Okay, so Susanna, this is your fault. You sent me the wrong link. If you are violence... talking about the post link, oh no, uh, oh, never mind. Here, here, here. No, it's again my fault again. God damn it! Today. You're the worst. <laughs> Here. Of course, you blame me for your is a... fucking issues. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, never mind. <laughs> See, this is Why the news that I had. admits fault. This is the news I had up, and I said Pakistan judicial system fails fourteen-year-old Christian girl. That's the next one, right? Yes. Okay, this is the right one. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Well, I'll just read the top comment then to save myself. Uh, Peter is saying, how weak and feeble must this Muhammad be if he can't even put up uh, a fight against a social media post? 
Can he read and write? Can okay, guys. I think they do, these people don't understand. Muhammad is not like a god in Islam. So if you're telling them how feeble ma ma must this Muhammad be if he can't put up a fight against a social media post, Muslims would not be like, "Oh no, he's strong." What? To Muslims, Muhammad is dead. Okay, it's not like Jesus that should. Muhammad is not like all powerful that should be able to come and defend himself. And Muhammad he was is dead. Illiterate. Muhammad is. He can't Mu read and write. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ma according to Muslims, Muhammad is weak and feeble because all dead people are weak and feeble because <laughs> all dead people cannot defend themselves. So, so yeah, maybe, yeah. So that's um, got the top res and likes, but yeah. Bobby's saying, imagine how easily their faith is shaken by a few words. Here's my devil's advocate what, for what religious people would say. Religious people say, like, listen, God is, is not threatened by, bas by blasphemy. Islam is not threatened by blasphemy, but we as Muslims have a duty to do this because we are threatened. We, our faith is being questioned if we don't do our duty. So this is an opportunity for us to show that we are deserving of God's love. This is not for God's sake that we do this. This is not for Islam. Islam will be victorious with or without our influence. This is for our sake to show to be on the right side to you know uh, rahul is saying we have actually come to expect that from the religion of peace they are fine posting stuff about other religions but when it comes to their neck of the woods they re, re they resort to uh, blowing things up sometimes including themselves okay a stock reminder that the majority of our species is still gripped by the lunacy of this religion um Okay, so here's, yeah, go on. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Like, what I said, the guy mentioned Muhammad is a child molester in a comment on Facebook, and he was arrested. So again, blasphemy laws uh, for hurting religious sentiments. But he was, I think, he was arrested after this huge riot happened, while the previous guy who posted about Ram was just arrested like that. And I actually on the YouTube live chat i actually uh, commented uh, my video which i made because of this news and why you this is completely islamic and you cannot justify just because muhammad existed 1400 years ago uh, just you can find it below the comment of macros matt uh, my comment so can you highlight it Armin? just the most recent comment on YouTube. Hmm. It's not showing up in the but chat on it, our it's, Yeah, stream. it takes a it takes a while for it to show up on my end. I will highlight it when it shows up. Okay, but go on. Okay, so that's where I say this and Armin actually saw my video, so I think he agrees uh with most things I said there. And uh, yeah, so this the problem is like uh, the there shouldn't be blasphemy laws to begin with for anything. No shit. With, uh, yeah, because the pro uh, that's the problem. I, I because I am currently even I in my state it's not really enforced that strictly, but there there's always this fear. For ex uh, like I cannot say anything because there's this huge Muslim population near me. So that's uh, kind of frightening. If uh, So I made that video even with, uh, I was a little scared to make that video, but I made it anyway, just to say it. And yeah, that's like, I, I don't know what else to say. Like blasphemy laws are shit. And... Well, yes. But uh, Susanna, can you actually find some other ex-Hindus in case the Muslims come from Shopham at some point and we lose him? Uh, so that we have a replacement ex Hindu. The problem is the Muslims and the Hindus both can come from. <laughs> I'm not well, on one side. Okay, both this, is why, this is why Actually, Susanna makes. Yeah. Our yeah. consulates in India are some of our most popular consulates. So we've got lots of candidates. But I, I will defend Shopam. Um, but I wanted to add something important. So I found it really interesting that when I was looking for this news from non-Indian news agencies, they gave me a very different picture. So the 
post that we had on Facebook was from Times Now India. If I looked for the same story from the BBC posted on the same day, the BBC is talking about how three people were killed in these riots. Oh, yeah. That, three people were killed. That wasn't mentioned at all in the publication from India. Um, so they arrested the guy who made the blasphemous post, supposedly. And um, they, yeah, deaths were confirmed by the home minister of the state. Um, I find it really interesting that the article from India didn't at all talk about the 110 people who were in the crowd, how they had to fire live ammunition to disperse the crowd, and only after using tear gas and batons did they finally disperse. Um, yeah, I, I have one thing. I have one thing. Uh, they, I know three people were killed. Initially, the record was two, and then they found out another person was dead, so it turned out three. But I got this news from an Indian side. The problem is, most Indian sites didn't say anything about this, uh, the post having to do with Prophet Muhammad. Like this, I found this article really. I had to look for it. I have to look. I had to look for something which says that the post was about Prophet Muhammad because that proves it is religious. But most uh, articles didn't say that. Some articles did mention that three people were killed, but they didn't mention that the post was about this Prophet Muhammad. So I couldn't send that to the news. That's the thing. Yeah. Like they didn't mention both of them in the same article. And when they did finally mention the fact, making an explicit tie to religion, they didn't talk about people dying in yeah. these riots. Um, and yeah. the pictures are crazy. Um, yeah. But events, the uh, events or the Babylon project is saying, my neighbor is like Hindu. I'll get her on. Great. Uh, awesome. Shopa, make as many anti-Muslim videos as you want. Well, the the <laughs> problem is uh, the thing is like in my state, I am safe for now. But the elections are next year, and if the BJP wins in my state, they will enforce the blasphemy laws. That's mm. when the shit gets problematic. Okay, so we still have time. Um, P twenty twenty is saying, yeah, that's probably because <clears throat> Indians Indians media are Wokistan. Oh, really? I don't know. Um, all right. I, I post Let articles from fairly reliable sources, actually, which condemn all things. Like, they condemn Indian things, and they condemn Pakistani things. They condemn Hindus, Muslims, all alike. So I try to post from those kind of articles. Yeah, let's be fair to India yes. a little bit here. It's easier to find those in India than it is in Pakistan, right? That's fair to say, right? Like, yeah. there's way more. Like, India has, like a, obviously, a Hindu right-wing problem, a huge one. But there is a lot more open opposition uh, to the Hindutva in India than there is open opposition to anything Islamic in Pakistan. I mean, even given, but even in Pakistan, there is a, a lot of that. But it, it takes a lot more bravery to do that in Pakistan than in India. So do you know? Do you again, know how again, India just like just like for Islam to look, uh, just like for Hinduism to look not like shit. You have to compare it to. Islam, for India to look decently secular, you have to con compare it to Pakistan, right? You you but, know how is how India is uh, you can prove India is decently secular, but it's still going backwards because when you ask the Hindu nationalists, there's this particular interview, like uh, a street interview of people on YouTube, and this video actually there's a guy going to different. Uh, Hindu nationalists and BJP supporters and asking them what, what problems they have with certain uh, colleges and stuff. And they say, these students, these youth, they are just roaming around and saying whatever they want. It doesn't even feel like India. Okay. And you know what the interviewer asked him after that? So, so you mean the freedom of uh, speech here is so much that it doesn't feel like India? All right. So it, it kind of proves that there is freedom of speech, but it's going backwards But because people are starting to think that, yeah, that's not how it should be. Uh, you should curb freedom of speech and everything. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's go. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, 
<laughs> bell and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no nah, we don't think you want this they're like no please show it to us we say to you we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no we think we know what's better for you than you yourself so to solve that link there's a link in the description uh which is to our newsletter so hopefully some of our, we could email it to you so hopefully you get some of our content that way okay so yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos so